What's up guys, this is Rich Light signing and welcome back to Tekken, I want to say Tekken Tag Tournament 7 now, what the fuck am I on about? Tekken 7, we're in with Asuka today, we had Lily yesterday, obviously her rival is Asuka, so it only seems fitting to go for the rival. So let's see where this leads us for today, and see what all it goes off, when we get to there anyway, you're always going to see that it's already been completed, and you can see that I've had 9 wins with this fucking bitch. Before we do anything, I want to change your hair to blue. I've already recorded this, but fucking thing broke on me, so it might break again. Rip. But oh well, we, we just gotta just gotta live on life. So you know, you know what? Let's actually just go to customization. You know, just just extend the fucking video as much as we can. Right? Why not? I just need to find a super in this thing. I don't know. I just want to change your hair to blue. But anyway, I'll see you back on the fighting field. Okay, we're back now. Got all the hair, nice blue hair, so it doesn't look blue there, but I've made it a little bit darker. See how this works. So sometimes in some lights it's blue, in some lights it's purple, but I want it to be blue all the way through because it matches with the um, with the outfit. Outfit? Not outf. Outfit. Hopefully this goes better than my last attempt because I reduced the difficulty down to very hard. I got my fucking ass kicked. And now I've put it back to ultra hard. To work with that instead. Also, so we're gonna get rid of my RB button. Got rid of it. Tried to do the rage art. She was doing another move instead. She was doing the rage art as well at some other points. But other than that, everything else worked. It's pretty fine. Your hair's still not blue as I'd like it to be blue. It's bluer, but not as blue. Still needs to be darker. We'll get to that whenever I. Now, why does this feel so easy again? This doesn't make sense. I feel like it's just because I'm used to playing on ultra hard now, so any other difficulty is just not going to work for me anymore. I did reduce it to very hard, and it was hard. I don't understand when I'm on ultra, I was like, fucking easy, you know? I don't know what the fuck that is. Maybe it's because like, they try and fight more combos and not just try and spam you like they did on very hard. They seem to block more in this one, well. Not too sure about it, but thank fucking god I've got my RB button back. How missing that is a very... Very missing opportunity. But fucking Asuka doesn't slide. There you go. Get fucked, bitch. Hey, more money, though. That's good. See, I'm unsure if Asuka is related to Jun or not. I know it's Jun Kazama and Asuka Kazama. So, is there a relation between the two? I believe there is. I think it could be their second child if they ever had one. But then that means she'd have possibly some devil capabilities, or if not, some angel capabilities that is not currently being shown yet. She may have some angel powers inside if she is a Kazama. Maybe not, I'm not 100% sure. We know Jin's got the devil powers from Jin, and he's also got some angel in him, surely, somewhere. Because he's got feather wings, and no devil I know has feathery wings. Leo, you fucking prick. Right, get back up, I'm gonna fucking annihilate you, bitch. I've got something for you. <laughs> Why can't I do that combo? Right. This is going to be fucking hard. Well, I knew that was going to happen, but oh well. Right. The same rule applies. If I lose ten times, in any sense, like, if it goes to the countdown menu ten times, we'll just, like, re re lower it from there. Maybe five, I guess, because I lost to a Kazumi quite a while. No. Instead, you see the timer at the bottom? We'll reduce when that gets to eight minutes at any time. We'll um, we'll just quit. 
and go through it because I'm not very good as a Suka. You know, I may be good with the first time round, but the second time, not as fucking good. Okay, I may have just tanked that. I did. Good. This should be an easy, not an easy win, but it's going to be going to be tough. going to be tough to come against. It's very hard. I like this arena, though, because I know who it belongs to. My favorite, the lucky Chloe. See, just because she's my favorite doesn't mean I'm going to be, like, very good with her. Like, it's... I've played three different people in this game, and two of the times, Lucky Chloe has fucking got obliterated. But when I lose with Chloe, I go to my go—I go to my go-to. I go to my other go-to. Okay, that's one. Whatever comes first, actually. But that's two minutes already down the drain. Fucking time takes piss, you know. I need—I don't know how this works. I'm trying to figure out how to record with my PS3 on HD. But it doesn't work. Like, I put the YPBPR into there. I think from there I've got to put it into my computer. But I don't have the disc for the thing anymore, so it doesn't work. The other one I saw... Is a lot more workable. Because you can have, like... Um, the funnelies that take it back into the TV for YPBPR. Which probably works a lot better for the PS4 than 3. But I need the other one to do that with. If that is the case. Because I don't know if it works with the PS3 or not, but... With this one, it's not very finalized or finesse in any way. It's a little bit crap. Especially when it comes to- FUCK YOU, LEO! You fucking woman wannabe. God's sake. I feel like my rage is still there from the last time I attempted this. Because I got to Kazumi and she was just fucking wrecking my face every time. And at this point, it's just doing the same fucking thing. Like, whatever's happened when I clicked on Asuka, it's just not fucking worked right at all. Because... I'm getting my ass kicked all the time. I may have to reduce to hard, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I'd rather not. I'd rather stick to very hard or ultra hard, sorry. I get pennies from it. I get more pennies from it. It's okay, even Stevens again. That got very tight and close. No wonder Asuka is on a second, Dan, because she's hard to work with. She's a hard hitter. And hard hitters and slow characters are not my forte, to be honest. That's why I don't like Gygus in this game. It's very fucking hard to play as. Everyone else is pretty alright if I know what to do with them, but Asuka is very slow in every sense. There's sometimes where she can be a little bit speedy, but other than that, it's not always ideal, right? This is where Leo can get his fucking fart kicked in. I either did say fart, not face. I wanted to say face. There we go. Moved on a little bit. All nice and good. Here's all show. I agree. Okay. What have we got next before fight? Hey, Hachi, I managed to take all these four down on very hard, quite easy. No, I didn't. I lost to Eddie. Have I got Eddie this time? Please don't put me with Eddie. I don't want Eddie. Please. Thank you, Kuma. You're a... You're a I can handle the bear. <laughs> Unless he's going to wreck my shit, too. He might wreck my shit as well. I don't know. Got a lot to do. A lot to do. Time's a-wasting. Time's a-flying. I might just, like... This recording may fuck up and I might get to like 50 wins with Asuka at one point. My hair is still fucking purple! Why the fuck is my hair still purple? God damn it, wanted it blue, not purple. God's sake, fucking lighting in this area. I mean, you need to change your hair again for a darker blue. Might work well with the costume in this area. I don't know. I don't like it goes blue. It's like, it starts off like a very faded pale blue and then it gets darker and darker. Then it gets a little bit lighter and then it gets darker and darker again. Like near enough to black blue. That made no sense to me. Fuck you, you big bear! Didn't you used to be a human? I ain't too sure. Maybe Kuma 1 was the human, but Kuma 2 is actually a bear. I'm not 100% sure, because he could... I'm, why am I trying to do my fucking rage move? I don't have my rage powers at this moment. In time. Fuck you, bear! Fuck you, bitch! Come on, Koma. Koma? Kuma. Fucking new name now for him, Koma. I'm not gonna win. If I fucking cheese it, maybe, but... Let's face it, the cheese is not going to happen well. I knew that was going to happen. Kuma's got a fucking hard kick on the bastard. God's sake, Kuma. Alright, that's the two. Like I said, I think we're going to reach eight, in eight minutes before anything else at this point. God damn it! need to figure out what's wrong with my other control as well. It's not connected to the Xbox One for some unknown reason. Maybe because this one's already connected to it, like on player one. Not 100% sure. I'll fix it though. I need to pray for this weekend. Who plays Yu-Gi-Oh? And then obviously if Prey's not finished on Saturday, 
It's going to be played on Monday until it gets finished. And then we've got another game in the, in the works to record and then go back to the random thing. Because I feel like what I'm going to do instead of like playing games in order maybe is I know a lot of the games I play are like already in order anyway. Like like Ratchet and Clank for example. I was going to go through 2, 3, 4 and all the way through them all. Which could take me fucking years considering there's loads of them. Obviously there's 4 for the PS5 for the PS2 sorry. I might buy one of them for the PS2 and then pass it off to my friend for him to have. Because I do have um, whatever you, I do have one for the PSP, but you can buy it for the PS2 as well. So I may invest into that just to get it recorded, maybe, and then I probably get rid of the PSP one. I don't, I don't fucking know. Maybe give the PSP one to a friend, or give the PS2 one way to a friend. I'm not 100% sure, or just miss out of the series entirely. I am not 100%. So, but it's not going to cost much to buy the game. So I know it's a rare one for the PS2. It's more common for the PSP. And then there's obviously Agent Clank, which is a PSP game. I do have a PSP emulator, so I'll see what I can do with that. See if there's anything I can work with. If not, then we'll just move on along. I'm not 100% sure. But still, at least I'll be able to do something with it, at least. But anyway, um, as I was saying anyway with the Ratchet and Clank things, like after I feet beat number one, I may put a r the randomizer back on again to see what to record next. Maybe it's going to be like another part series or something like that. This bear is fucking annihilating me, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. So I don't know where it's going to work with. Because it could be a different new game entirely. Or it could be... I'll put it in the like the list of what to do. Because I know I've still got the list somewhere of what to record next. It's a big fucking list. But like after a while, I know these old games will be replaced. Like if a brand new game comes out where I really want to record. Like maybe the next one to record in this series... Because hopefully, after I think he's done, um, Tekken 7's done, I want to try and record Final Fantasy 12, the Zodiac Age, when that comes out. Because it's one of the, it's one of my favourite Final Fantasy games. I've only played four of them. I played one, 13. No, I've only played three. I played one, 12, and 13. So I'm missing out quite a big bit of um, the Final Fantasy era, but... Because number 12, the um, Zodiac Age is going to be a new one, I know what to do in the game. I'm going to record that, hopefully, and see where we can go with it. A lot of it is going to be farming if I need to, but that's just going to be off camera, so meh. No harm there. My next investment is going to be for that, but that's what I'm hoping is going to be next for the recording-wise. I may even do it as live streams, if that's the main, if that's the thing. Because I know I could get like Twitch on the PS4, so probably take it around to Josh's and see what he wants to do with it, if he wants to play it or not, I don't know. Need to sneeze. Nope. False alarm. Nope. <laughs> there it goes. Come on, hey, Hachi. Possibly Grandad. I'm not 100% sure on anymore. I don't know. Who does Kazuma take after, though? Who 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 has the proper bloodline? I know Jin took after the father. Possibly some mother thrown in there. If Jun is... Asuka's mother, that is. It may make sense. But also, it may not be. Come on, Hiachi. I fucking dare you, bitch. Right, you just fucked up, motherfucker. Get out of my face. You big disgrace. And you're fucking dead. Nailed it. But, I do want to record it. I don't know, because I know a lot of the stuff I'm doing are all old and has been games. Because I don't have all the new games coming out this year. I can know a lot of these YouTubers now. I like playing games that they want to play, and they obviously keep a focus on these new games. Or some of them just look through Steam and like, oh look, this is new. Oh, this is new. Oh, this is new. For me, I only try out new games once I've seen people play the new games. But oh, most of it is like, oh look, this, this game's coming out. Like on, as we know, at the end of the month, we've got thing coming out. Um, Crash Bandicoot. I'm not going to record Crash Bandicoot. I probably will do one day, but I've got Spyro in the ranks. I think Crash Bandicoot is on the list, maybe. I don't know. But um, even Spyro's on the list. It's on two lists. I think it's on two lists. I'm not 100% sure. No, no, no. Crash Bandicoot's on the spare list. That makes sense. Because I'm going to buy the remakes as well as the originals. Because I do want to play the originals as well. Because they're fun to play. Although I may not need to. Because I've got, obviously, the original. So I'm going to re... I've got, obviously, I've got the remake of the original. Sorry. Hence why I don't need to fucking worry about that shit. Oh, you had to use a fucking rage mode, didn't you? Or what are your fucking rage things called? Bollocks. Not doing well with the suka, but talking about all the games and shit is making me keep calm and focused. 
But um, on the other on the other channel that's now dead, we did Halo stuff and all that crap. I don't know what we're gonna do with this because I have got Zeta on on some of them, and there's a lot of things that's still on the list to record, like the Serena as well, which is probably gonna be done in two parts, maybe just even one, to see how well it does. Because I do have a limit on recording sessions. Like, I do have, like, oh, let's record for 20 minutes. That's what I go down to. Sometimes it goes over, but if I'm, like, really on the edge of, the, of, like, 20 minutes, I usually end it. On average, anyway. Sometimes it does go over. Or sometimes, depending on what the video is, it does go over to overboard. Like, way overboard. Like, obviously, as we know, for um, Project Zero, I do go for those as, um... I have those at an hour long. And same with Prey recently. Because I want to try and get Prey out of the way so I can, like, focus on the main stuff that's been going on, because it's just a random schedule. Usually, like, I know <clears throat> a lot of YouTubers don't have a schedule, or sometimes they do. I'm not 100% so. all. Like, for example, Cry doesn't have a schedule. They'll just play whatever he fucking well wants. PewDiePie doesn't do fucking gaming videos anymore, so fuck that guy. Um, I know the Rad Brad, he, whatever new game comes out at that time, he records until the very end. If he does go to the very end. And then you've got Markiplier, who has a schedule, like, I'm gonna, he just does videos when he wants to, it's like, I want to record this today, do that today. But Jack has a schedule, he sticks to a schedule. It's like, he's got his list down, I have a massive schedule, but he's like, I want, I'm recording these at the moment, but he does it like every other day. Like, he'll do, say for example, he'll do Hyrule Warriors today, and then like, three days time, we'll do another one if he wants to continue it. But, I do mine very differently. As we know, on Mondays, we've just finished Cry of Fear, so there's not going to be no more Cry of Fear now. We're all done for that one. I've got something in line with it. Like, I've obviously not done the uh, randomizer to see what's coming up next because something has been obtained that needs to be asserted to now that it's here because it's there, you know? It's right there for us to take. But other than that, there's nothing else to really say for it. And then, obviously, everything else is just day-to-day. -day. Apart from Tekken 7, which is daily... Until whenever something else comes out. Like, maybe after this I'll probably do Final Fantasy XII. Probably not finish it because it's fucking hard to do. I'm not 100% sure because I don't know how long that game actually is. I spent lots of time on it on the PS2. Which, if someone else wants it, I'll probably just give it away at that point. Because I've got the proper Final Fantasy XII coming out soon, so... I spent a lot of fucking time in the Final Fantasy XII. Although I might keep it for, like, my own purposes. And you know, like, I'll play the original in my spare time. And leave the PS4 one for the recording. I don't know. I've also like it may also go to live stream because obviously Resident Evil One that needs to be done as well daily. When because I did Resident Evil Zero, so get Zeta on that one because he was doing Resident Evil Zero. But for him, Resident Evil's not like a big thing unless we do it like. Cause he doesn't want to do it daily. He doesn't want to do too much of it in one go. Oh please get Asuka. Uh, this is not going to kill him, is it? It better do, because I've actually been trying my fucking hardest. Doesn't even matter. Ooh, one loss from Kazumi, that's going to be over. But that's how things work over on the channel. Because there's loads of games that I want to fucking play. There's so much to do. And there's so little time. It doesn't, you don't, it's so strange. Like, I do two videos a day, sometimes three, depending on what day it is. And even that doesn't comprehend how many videos I've got. Even, like, I've got a fucking giant list of one hour videos to do, and even those are taking time to do. But even when that ends, all those, there is so many more to put onto it. It is unreal. Like, I would do those for Final Fantasy, but... Let's face it, Final Fantasy 1's... <clears throat> not story-driven enough. You know? None of the original Final Fantasy games are. Probably the first one is Final Fantasy 7 that has got some story-driven mode to it. I don't know. I've not played the original Final Fantasy games. I have no idea. I know I owned 7 at one point, but I never ever played it because it technically was not my disc. I was only a child. I was like 5 when we actually owned it. So, not my thing. Other things can replace though, you know? So, you never know. You never fucking know. Because like, if, it, if a series is going on for so long and then I've got nothing else replacing the hour things, like, let's face it, we've got fucking Kingdom Hearts for days. Alright, there's so much Kingdom Hearts and I've only recorded 10 videos of it so far, I believe. Yeah, I've done 10 hours of it so far. And that's all I've fucking done. Alright, Tutu Kazumi, that's fine. Let's just go do the bonus match, I guess. Such a good kitty, yeah, very good. Continue. Eight. Let's spam all these buttons. There we go. 
Well, very good for you. Amazing. Okay. Now the storyline. You're not going to tell me that I don't want buttons anymore, do you? Let's see, so I've already done this. But I've got to do all over a fucking again. Less rage this time, though. Let's get this over with. Since they first fought at the King of Amethyst tournament, Asuka felt that Lily was taking the whole rivalry nonsense a little too seriously. Asuka recalled Lily's phone call out of the blue a few days earlier. Hello, Asuka. I'm sure you have heard the news that the King of Amethyst tournament is starting again soon. Worry not, I have already been gracious enough to register you for the competition. No try, no trying to weasel out of it. You hear? I am ever so looking forward to fighting you. As Asuka let her rage toward Lily's presum presumptuousness fly down the phone, Lily hung up. Fed up of being treated like a rich girl's plaything, Asuka thought that maybe if she beat Lily, the conceited little princess would, nev would leave her alone. Then again, maybe not. Asuka wondered how she could resolve the situation, but came up with nothing. Eventually, she decided to go along with Lily's plan and enter the tournament. Sorted. It's weird not seeing her going Hadaga instead. That might sound racist, I so apologize. But either way, is that Xbox something like that or is that... I don't fucking know. What is that? Because it says it right there. What is that right there? It says King of the Iron Fist Tournament, August 8th. That is summer. Something is being released on in summer as well. It says a new game mode. Ooh. It makes me get so... Not picky, but... Interesting to see what it is, because if that's the case, I'm going to be so annoyed. I'm going to do it, of course. But, like, if there's... If each character has another fucking ending, I'll not do it. I'll probably do the tournament with each character. Or see how it goes or something. But offline and then see how... It, if it does it from there, I'll probably do a video of all the characters' endings. If that's the case. Just because I've got something to showcase for it on the August. Because I'm probably going to be playing it by then, anyway. I've got DLC for it. I'm still going to be playing it, so when it comes out, I'll fucking smash it out and shit because it's such a good game like I said I wouldn't say Tekken Tag 2 is better than this but it's got a lot more things for it it's got a lot more characters this one just got new characters and like three of the new characters actually look pretty cool some of them didn't really need to be new anyway ending this fucking ending is weird I'll just, let, I'll just sit back and watch you two or let you watch it Did you read that? Very, you could be very easily dragged into the Mishima's mess. So she's related to them then. She must be some ties between Jun. Because Jun's a part of the Mishima's because of Kazaya. And because of Jin. Ooh, interesting. Alright, we've got one more thing to show you. And that's Jun's ending from Tekken 2. Because I believe she's got some ties with Jun. Even th that even forwards the more control of it. Because even Asuka doesn't fucking know. But anyway. I've already bought it anyway, so it's all good. Right, we've already went through Tekken Tag 1, Tekken 3. We've already played that. Tekken 2, we've not played. What am I doing? Where am I going? This one right here. Full screen. See, I know these ones don't really much about it, but because I've not played Tekken 1 or Tekken 2 on the channel, and that's why I'm showing some of the things off from the previous games. Hopefully it doesn't fucking break today. I feel like my phone keeps on vibrating at me and it's pissing me off. What do you want, game? Come on, dude. There we go. 
God of War. Oh, wow, they got a new God of War coming out and another Gears of War game. Seriously? Wow. Alright. There's only one thing I was interested in at E3, but they said it's not going to be released this year, or no release date yet, so fuck those guys! Another game that I will not be recording for the channel. I said I recorded one on my PS4 now. Huzzah! It's all good. It's all good. Alrighty, so guys. That is going to be it for today with Tekken 7. We've got Ling Sha Yu tomorrow. She's got a nice ass in this game. That's all I can say about it. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. And as always, this is Rick Salite, signing out.